everyone. Before I get started, I would like to thank SneakerFiles.com for giving me this opportunity to be the Sneakerhead Spotlight of the Week. My name is Donisha Johnson. I currently live in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been here all my life, and I am 32 years old, and I've been collecting sneakers for a few years now. These three shoes right here are my top, top three 2012 pickups thus far. Um, I'm going to start with the LeBron Big Bangs. Uh, ha had to put a little bit of work in to get this shoe. Um, highly anticipated for a lot of people. This is definitely my top three in my LeBron collection thus far. Um, I would say I pretty much stood in line for about seven hours. Not too long. But uh, definitely, definitely one of my favorite LeBrons so far. Um, let's go to this one. Galaxy Phone Posit, really, really, really highly anticipated for a lot of people, really limited as well, really happy that I was able to get my hands on this pair, um, stood in line for these for about eight or nine hours, um, again, really, really happy that I was able to get this, uh, I would say not my top three out of all my phone posits as far as my phone posit collection, but um, just one of my better pickups this year. This is actually my favorite pickup of 2012 so far. Uh, Jordan Cavs, four, Jordan 4 Cavs. Really love this colorway. Quality is definitely there on this Jordan. Hopefully Jordan can keep um, bringing us the good quality like he did this year. So again, these are my top three pickups uh, thus far for 2012. This was actually a tough decision for me. Broke it down to four shoes, it's supposed to have been three, but I have so many shoes and out of all my collection, these four right here are considered grails to me. These are top in my collection. So let's get right into it. We actually have the Jordan 7, chambray colorway. The 7s are actually my favorite Jordan of all time. I remember getting this shoe back in 2005, I believe. Went to my Dharma DTLR. It wasn't a hassle, it wasn't a problem getting a shoe. Um, but yeah, I, in my opinion, I think this is the best colorway of the sevens. Now you have this one. You have the Jordan 7 for the love of the games. This is actually one of my grails as well. This is definitely an iconic shoe. Um, for the love of the game sign, I love that right there. This, have, this also has gold tips as well. Like I said, again, the sevens are definitely my favorite shoe of all time. Missed out on these at first. Uh, I think I was able to get this shoe last year sometime. I can't remember. But I'm um, so happy I was able to get this for the collection. Number three. This is the, uh, this is the LeBron 7. I believe this is an exclusive colorway. Um, I think it might be an East Bay exclusive. I'm not 100% sure. But in my opinion, this is the best built LeBron thus far. Most of the shoes is constructed of this nice um, patent leather. In my opinion, again, the sevens are the best LeBrons constructed. Um, gray is definitely my uh, favorite color. And um, with the orange accents, you just definitely can't go wrong. But this shoe is my grails as far as the LeBron collection so far. Last but not least, you got the Metallic 5, Jordan. I remember having this shoe as a young boy. You know, first thing that drew me to this shoe was this lace lock right here. We used to call them bow biters. Um, when I actually seen this shoe in the store, I fell in love with it. Um, I think back then I had the Nike sign on the back of this joint. But, um, this, this shoe that right here definitely brings back childhood memories to me. And um, that was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to double up on this as well. But um, I remember, again, wearing this shoe when I was uh, a, young, a young boy playing basketball in it. I actually, uh, the first pair that I had, I actually ran this in the ground so much. Um, I just loved it, you know. But again, uh, before I go... 
want to give a really, really big shout out to sneakerfiles.com again. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity again as well for y'all making me the sneakerhead spotlight of the week. And that's pretty much it. I'm out. Peace.